I got woken up by a little bird landing on my head this morning. And in good news, I found my good sock. Real, um, real good bit of kit. I'm absolutely gasping for a brew, but there's just no brew. Just keep walking, no brew. Other side of the river always seems to hold what I want most. Look at all that chai over there. Oh, nice temple. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what a brew! Lots of these mystery signs. Last one said eight. And it sort of drops down to four, then back up to six, and I don't know what's going on there. I take no notice. So it's Sunday, so that's why everything's a ghost town. I'm staying. Uh, chai? Tea? Okay. Yeah. Just stare at me. Don't, don't even react. Just stare at me. Oh, I guess I'm nerves a bit, that. I get the surprise to see me, but come on. Uh, chai? Tea? Chai? I was kind of hoping that I would walk every day until I got there, another week. Thinking I can just put up with it and just sort of pag my feet into oblivion and then rest when I get there, but it's taken it out of me more than I, more than I remember it normally does, but I may need to take it a little bit easier today. Or just have a better sleep, really. Quite windy last night. I believe that's my building. I didn't actually eat any dinner last night. I had one samosa. Passed out. So, I gotta be careful with this. I've got a habit of being very skinny on these journeys. I've got to pack it on when I can. You see these, right? I don't know why. I don't know what's the difference with buffaloes and cows, but they always know that I'm a foreigner. They're racist, actually. Ah, there's my chai. Morning, morning. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Morning. You're happy in your work, aren't you? Have you got a chai for me? Chai tea? Lovely. Ah, lovely chai. You got it? Okay. Alright brother, oh, yeah. let I'm, me get this chai, chai, please, chai, chai. Please, please. 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 Oh, I'm running out of patience here man. I'm sorry, I'm grumpy. Oh, just put, please, light the... I've been here 10 minutes now, I'm just taking selfies. I really just want to eat and have a chai. Really, really, really. Look, he's very happy. Can't complain that a man is happy. I'm late! Well, you, you <laughs> <laughs> I love you man. Thank you guys. Best omelette I ever had. Nearly killed me. Six eggs. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Take care. Oh, here's my guide. So I'm going to listen to the locals. I don't have any battery. No charge. So I'm just going to do the old school and just follow the river. When I come back this way, which I have to, only one way to come back, I'm gonna have to get on one of these buses, which honestly, the way they drive, it looks like absolute hell in there. You see the sickle down outside the windows, don't you? Sorry to zoom in on that. I took the directions of a man over there. That, this is the problem with my ignorance of not knowing the language. Over there is lovely, absolutely lovely. But we miss communication and no battery on my phone. I'm on the highway. But again, I don't know if you noticed, 
all of those things were my fault. I think this journey, more than ever, is one of self-discovery, or at least I was actively going on a soul search this time. Whether you like it or not, it's kind of going to happen on these journeys. You do go inward. But as I've been walking, or ever since I left England, I've been trying to figure out what this journey is. I'm trying to let it happen. But as I'm walking, I'm still, I'm thinking, what is this journey? Because in these long hours spent travelling slow and chasing what's around the next bend, I can't help but wonder what's coming. What is this journey? And what comes after? Bye bye. Namaste. Namaste. Huh. Too many big questions for one bob. But still I catch myself on these miles walking down here, going through the same old stories. It looks like we got a storm brewing. I feel you, brother. I feel you. Oh, there is a bridge there. So I've crossed the river to escape the tarmac, escape the traffic, and it's a bit of a risk. It's just how much I love it over here is equal or oppositely equal to how much I hate it on the tarmac. A couple of locals have said I should stay over there. One of them said something about an earthquake. See, Google says that this path doesn't actually link up down the river. Um, so I'm sort of ignoring Google and ignoring the locals, which it's a bad idea, really, isn't it? Of course it's a bad idea. Oh my god, oh my gosh. It's glacial. It's glacial water. Namaste. Namaste. Hmm? How you doing? Yeah? All the ladies doing the work. And then one guy sat there doing absolutely nothing. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, lovely smiles. Bye bye. Omelette. Omelette. Okay. Four eggs. Four eggs. Four eggs. Yeah. I need to be strong, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See that? It'll be another one of these random celebrations that. They happen every day and no one ever really tells you about them. You're very excited. Yeah, you did. What? I'm the bum. Thank you, sir. You have a good day, boys. Wow. I want whatever he's having. Recording. It is recording. So, quite a lot of tourists coming up, a lot of buses, tourist buses going up. They'll be going towards Gongachi because I'm pretty sure, I think people have told me many different dates before I even set off, but Gangotri or the source, the temple at the source, has only just opened. Or the glacier was closed, or I don't know how you close a glacier. I mean, they must have had a big bloody gate. I'm guessing it's just too cold up there, snowed in, or whatever. But I can see that people are going there that 
I'm not the only one on this yatta, on this pilgrimage. Obviously they're doing it for different reasons. I don't really know what my reason is, but you can sort of feel it. You can feel that's where we're going. We're all going together. They're going to be there in a jiff. I'm going to be there in a week. But, however, in my short 200 mile, 250 mile walk, whatever it, it's going to be, the end of it is the source, is that glacier. And I read about this a long time ago, but Hindus believe, or some people believe, that washing in the waters up there is renewing their life. It's washing away the sins and it's beginning life again. I remember thinking when I read that, I was like, yeah, I fancy that, I could do with that. I think we could all do with that, eh? But yeah, after the next 100k, we will have climbed quite a lot. We get there, I have a bathe, and I begin my life. I start my new life. That's the plan anyway, you know. Utrakasi. There's a, a line between spending time alone and hiding from the world. Holy moly. And they're two different things. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe I spent enough time lost in a thought. It's there. Running the warrens in my head. Thinking, thinking, thinking. People need people. Someone to share this most powerful yatra. There's my river, and I know I shouldn't do, but I just took that room for the night. I know I can't afford it, but it's 500. Thank you, sir. Took a bit of negotiating, they said it was all full. They often say it's full, so how can it be full? 500 for that cute little spot. I could have guests over. I'm not gonna, but. Moist. Holiday weight's gone. My name's Lance. I share another smile in a moment with a stranger on the side of the road. chance and brief connection. So many faces they blur in memory. I'd always considered these characters as being part of my story, my worthy and meaningful journey. Baba Ganganat and Nagababa, they walked with purpose. Their purpose was to walk. All for the thunder and sunshine of a yatra. My story, my great journey, was one of many. Hello, man. How are you? That's my feet. And so two babas, one small and one skinny, became two babas and one bob. Ganga Nat. Ganga Nat. Uh, I'm Bobby. I... Ravinder Giri. Naga Ravinder Baba. Giri. Naga Baba. Just another pilgrim sharing the road to Gangotri. The irony wasn't lost on me. A journeyman asks for a journey. And the journey he finds is one travelled by so many. Or as the Babas call it, the world's most powerful yatra.
I have my own room. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> 